year 2892, the technology rapidly grew. The world filled with new invention, flying cars, shoes machine, invisible cloth. The knowledge and understanding poured out to mankind through genetic transformation to create living intelligence. As a result, modern, advanced world exists. This new generation, blessed with so great technology, but failed to experience life, original things, and understanding to the past. What are you doing, man? Well, I'm just finishing my lesson. Oh, that's why you're not around in school contest about the new inventions. Because you're doing something here. You didn't know what invention was? to another using a phone. Because of that invention, I created something new. Interesting. Great. For what is your invention for? Well, I call this a HTV. It is a TV that can manipulate the mind of the user to relax. So this device is compacted with a device that can pass through our dreams while we're sleeping. So uh, the asset of this invention is that if you're going to use it and put it in your head, it will simply follow the command using your brain. So it's all done already. And make known to the public, a person can live alone. Because there is a device that can relieve his boredom, right? Absolutely. Come here. I will be sure you something. Wait, I am Jade. We are here now a thousand years before our thousand time. thousand years? Yes. You mean time machine? But that is the device that the government forbidden us to use. And look, what happened to you? You look different. And your shirt. Um, maybe it is because of the time machine. Let's go around. Yes. the true nature. Oh, wonderful! Oh, the view is perfect. The air is so fresh. This is the true nature. Yes. Oh, is that my invention? Yes. Good. I thought it was broke by the time machine. It should be kept. Mm. Because it is the most incredible invention among all. Come on, let's go back to our time. There's a lot of people can benefit this. Just wait, I just want to show you one thing. What is that? Just follow me. Okay. Come here. Yes, sir. Our favorite movie started. Wait, hon. I'm just preparing our snacks. Yogurt. Okay. Yogurt. I hate yogurt. You want strawberries. Did you see that thing? Yes, what is that? That is called the TV invented early 20th century. Uh, it's called flat screen TV. TV? Mm. How come it became a TV? That's so big. We are living now in 20th century. In which technology are not so high tech? Come here, I will show you another dimension. Century. I have something to show you. Hey. Yes, what is that? There is a TV, a kind of TV before your each TV and the touch screen invented. It was invented in 19th century. It is called Clarendon TV. What? Mm. That TV before, that invention is smaller than that, am I right? I'm going to show you the collection of TV in the past years. In 100 years, the TV has taken many shapes and sizes. 
Here's the evolution of the television from the 1920s to today. The 1920s gave us the mechanical television. The first model had a small display on the right and a huge cabinet. They implemented peculiar shapes, such as the octagon television. In the 1930s, we saw more refined televisions, with better designs and resolution. The 1940s brought us even higher resolutions, including the NTSC standard of 480 lines of resolution and better audio. The 1950s brought us the short-lived porthole televisions, but most importantly, it brought us the NTSC color standard. The sales of color TVs boomed in the 60s. They were now more affordable and the colors more vivid. There was the upgradable television with easily accessible circuit boards. The 1980s was the end of the TV as furniture era. These were replaced with color projection TVs with larger screens and minimalist cabinets. This decade was all about Sony's Trinitron technology. As Sony's patent had run out, all competitors were free to use the technology. Throughout the 2000s, CRT TVs were still very popular, as they were inexpensive and could access HD channels using a converter box. During this decade, LCD tech was finally able to compete with plasma, giving us LCD HD TVs. We started the 2010s with the best combination of tech money could buy. 4K, LED, and 3D, which all had just been introduced. Curved screens became the premium feature for a few years. It was meant to reduce glare and improve immersion. By taking advantage of our peripheral vision, this works well for computer monitors, but it is barely noticeable on TVs. 2020 promises many new technologies, such as the rollable TV. It is completely hidden when it's off, and when it's on, it grows to the size of the content or application. This is great for calendar and music apps, and avoids the black bars in extra-wide movies. This is another discrete TV technology, but it will likely be used more for decoration and art than for entertainment. The double-sided TV will be great for gaming and for commercial applications. Less invention, endless experiment, 
brings knowledge of motion, but not of stillness. Knowledge of speech, but not of silence. Knowledge of word and ignorance of the world. All our knowledge bring us nearer to our ignorance. All our knowledge bring us nearer to death, but nearer to death, no nearer to God. Where is the life if you have lost in living? Where is the living if you have lost in knowledge? And where is the knowledge if you have lost in information? This is the very problem of our time.